is he? Who knows? This is your brother we're talking about. Okay, I've got a great idea for prom this year. Ready? Las Vegas. Casinos. The whole deal. We could dress all the guys in a tux and then the girls in a sparkly dresses. <gasps> we could even have cardboard cutouts of slot machines and set them up everywhere. What do you guys think? I love it. We could put up fairy lights everywhere to light up the gym and we could use the school's disco ball for an effect, right? What do you think, Jules? Jules? What? Were you listening to a word I was saying? Not really. Ugh. Whatever. Finally, you're here. I wanted to tell you my ideas for prom. Ready? Las Vegas, casinos, everything. What do you think? I like it. We're gonna have guys in tuxes and girls. There's a new girl coming to our school. Well, that's new. When did you find out? Just this morning, actually. The principal called me into the office to inform me that tomorrow morning, since I'm on the welcoming committee, I have to show her around. It's a her? Yes, it's a her. I don't know the name yet, but I assume I will get more information in the morning. We haven't had a new kid in ages. I'm so excited. Don't get your hopes up, Lonnie. For all you know, it could just be another stuck-up snob who's gonna play innocent, lead you into thinking she's the greatest person in the world, then drop you and act like you mean nothing to her. Yeah, you're probably right, um, I'm gonna go use the restroom. What was that? You totally just crushed her jewels. You can't snap at her like that. Not after what happened. Look, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just very protective over her, considering what happened when Andrea came. Don't say that name. Sorry, Carter. You should probably go walk her home. I don't think she went to the restroom. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Lana, wait. Lana, are you okay? I'm fine. Lana, you and I both know that snapping at you like that was wrong. Y you do understand why I got defensive though, right? Is it because of Adri- Yeah, it's- It's because of Adria. of a prom dress and I want you to help me pick one out. Can I pick you up in 10? Actually, I'm working on my article for the school and newspaper. Do you think we could try for another time? How about this week? Sorry, Jules, I'm booked for the next two weeks. Oh, uh, that's okay. Prom isn't for another couple months, right? So we can plan for something later. Oh, yeah. Definitely, it's not like I was planning for this or anything. <laughs> um, bye. Okay, bye. What are we even doing here? Probably just another boring assembly. At least we're missing biology for this. Quiet down now. All right, now I'm sure you all know exactly what this is. 
and I am just about certain that we don't need to do this twice a year, but it's a requirement throughout the school district, and there's nothing I can really do to change that. So, let's start, shall we? If there was ever a being from the fantasy dimension, what would you do, Kaylee? You should avoid eye contact, walk away calmly, and report it to a protector. Very good. If you ever witnessed someone attempting to leave this dimension, what would you do, Juliet? You would find a protector and they would take it from there. What do you mean, take it from there? They would probably do what they did to carry you in. Heather. Sorry. We do not speak of what happened to Carrie Ann. Next topic. He doesn't have to be so strict. I mean, we don't even have any evidence that they're dangerous. And how does everyone here know so much about these rules anyway? We all grew up with these rules, newbie. Everyone except you. No, it's just, at my old school, we weren't raised knowing so much about them. Uh-huh. Now, does anyone have any questions? Hey, Jules. Oh, hey, Lonnie. So, I met the new girl today. She's pretty chill. I invited her to sit by us. Jeez, Juliet, is something wrong? No, not at all. Oh, hey Ari, do you mind if I sit with you? Yeah, sure, there's plenty of room. Plenty is not a good way to describe how much room is left at this table. Some is a good way to describe, just enough for one or two people. If only four people were sitting here, everyone would get enough room to spread out their paws as far as they please. But now there's five people. Uh, just ignore her. You can sit by me. Okay. This is a wild game of survival. Oh, 